have now gotten a commitment from uh, Clegg and uh, the Meta team that by June, all our creators will uh, now have an opportunity to really monetize everything that they do in that space, put ads, make sure they can access Instagram, commerce around it, and it speaks to our bottom-up economic transformation agenda on making sure that we give everybody a chance right from the bottom. And I am very happy that this is moving in the right direction. I want to encourage a Meta Group, if we can do it before June, somewhere in the middle here, it would be a very welcome surprise to many of these uh, good people. As you can hear them speak, they, they are very eager, they, they are already in that space. And uh, the very positive thing I keep hearing from the people in the digital space, they keep telling me, you know, we're going to make this much money minus tax. It's going to be so much. <laughs> I, I'm very happy that everybody is now becoming conscious about making sure that we pay our taxes because it's the only way we can sustain and maintain our independence as a country. Let me also give uh, my commitment to the entrepreneurs in this space, people in the SME space, that we are working with a Meta Group and all the other um, actors in this space to make it much more easier for our MSMEs to understand how they can do business, how they can conduct their enterprises in the digital space, how we can create more entrepreneurs in the digital space, how we can use um, uh, the digital space and the capabilities that can be obtained in that space to assist our micro, small and medium enterprises to scale up their businesses. I have offered also opportunities to a meta group that Kenya is already in uh, consultations with other actors. We're shortly going to have um, a one gigawatt um, data center complete with cloud infrastructure. We've already broken ground on it. And using our renewable energy, we want to make Kenya a fast in green data centers that will again be available for uh, companies like um, the Meta Group to have a conversation, especially since we are uh, discussing around the capabilities that artificial intelligence can bring into this space to give additional leverage to entrepreneurs, to business people, to content creators, to do more with a lot of ease. The monetization exercise is also going to be available on M-Pesa. I think many people uh, have been wondering how do we do this? Because not many of our content creators have credit cards or other instruments, financial in nature. But uh, I was very happy to hear that the team from Meta have already uh, carried out experiments and that it works. And therefore, in the next few uh, weeks and months, it will now be possible for our content creators to transact using the M-Pesa platform, which is a much more easy, accessible, you know, and uh, um, a space where many Kenyans interact much more freely and much more comfortably. So again, that is one step that would make it much more easier for our content creators across Kenya and many people participating in this space. And I want to thank Meta for offering to consider Kenya for some of the uh, BPOs that will be trying to find a home. I want to uh, tell you that we are reworking the legislation in Kenya to make it much more easy for um, people who work in the BPO space to be able to uh, work with Kenyan young people. As you look for homes for some of the opportunities, uh, I want to welcome you to Kenya. We have a very uh, knowledgeable, very well-trained, educated, very good English, hardworking, innovative, creative young population in Kenya that can take up anything.
And I am very happy that you're also keen. And then I want to commend uh, Meta Group alongside all the other players for being keen on safety and making sure that we have the right content and we do not have content that uh, can be abused in that space. Again, we're going to work with you. The government of Kenya is going to deploy whatever resources we have to work with you to make sure that that space is secure and we minimize uh, content that is undesirable. The teams we have here, you've heard from Putita there, they've really been on my case uh, on how we can innovate more this space, expand opportunities in this space, um, make it easy for monetization. Jay Moore there, he calls himself Ulemze, I'm a Ulemze, has also been ever present whenever we are having this conversation. Did I see a winger somewhere? So all these people have never given me peace, but I'm very happy that today the commitments that we made and uh, Facebook is here, the Meta Group are here, to work with us on various aspects. Number one, as was said ably here, in a few weeks, in a couple of weeks, many of you will be eligible. The eligibility criteria will be now available for content creators in Kenya. That's a big step in making sure that our content creators, the people who operate in the digital space, have an opportunity to monetize their talent, to give themselves additional revenue, and I'm truly grateful to Facebook for working with us this journey. Technology doesn't stand still. The internet is not a static thing. Um, we are on the cusp of a complete transformation in the way in which we will interact with each other and access the online world as these new generative AI tools uh, become much, much more prevalent in our everyday lives. And we are very keen at Meta to work in partnership with this great country and, of course, others around the world as we navigate those huge changes. And that involves understanding what the new infrastructure needs are. Um, there is going to be an explosion, for instance, in the construction of uh, AI data centers and AI infrastructure required to build the underlying foundation models that drive artificial intelligence now into the future. We will need to invest in people so that people can understand how to new use new generative AI tools. We are very proud at Meta that we are the leading proponent in the world of open sourcing AI technology. We are very, and the president and myself, we discussed this, we firmly believe that it is simply not sustainable or acceptable to envisage a world in which only a very small number of very wealthy uh, West Coast American companies will be able to develop this technology and then charge a fee or a subscription to everybody else around the world to access it. We have long believed in open sourcing AI technology. We've open sourced over a thousand AI databases and models over the last decade, and we want to continue to do so. And what that means is that you, creators, entrepreneurs, people coming up with great new ideas about how to use generative AI to build new businesses, you will be able to access our underlying foundation models for free. We, we will be spending billions of that billions of, of our own dollars building that infrastructure now, but we want to make sure that it is available to everybody around the world uh, for free and repurposed as it can be in multiple uh, languages as well. So whether it's human capital and digital literacy and digital training, we will continue to lean into that. Whether it is facing these major infrastructure challenges around the world or whether it is sharing the fruits of the immense creative and productive benefits that will be brought about by this generative AI revolution that we're going through at the moment. We very much want to continue to work in partnership uh, with um, 
uh, with the government here, with all of you, with entrepreneurs, with educators, with uh, creators, uh, as we uh, forge a way ahead in the future. Kenya will become an eligible country uh, in a couple of weeks. This means any creator that passes the eligibility criteria will be able to monetize by, by their own. And to talk about eligibility criteria in more details and in more technical terms, we're talking about creators that have more than 5,000 followers, creators that are more than 18 years of age plus, creators that have more than five active videos on their Facebook page, and that have collected 60,000 minute views in the last 60 days. And this is for videos, uh, direct VOD videos, and live videos as well. On the question of the office, it's not an unusual question for us. Indeed, in my free meetings with His Excellency, he's put tremendous pressure on us to open an office here. We are very clear, though, that the company has gone through a lot of change over the last 18 to 24 months. And in many places, we've actually closed offices. That doesn't mean that our commitment to the continent has changed in any way. We still have staff working out of here and a number of colleagues who often come into the country and the region to work out of, uh, work out of Kenya as well. But it's unlikely that in the near future we will open an office. We've already had very early discussions, however, about our continued investment in infrastructure in Kenya and in the rest of the region as His Excellency continues to to press us on. It's not just about Kenya, but the whole region. So we'll continue to invest in kind of infrastructure like the Two Africa Submarine Cable, which we hope will give you even better internet, better and more affordable internet access over the, over the years to come, as well as other major infrastructure projects. I stand before you and I'm honored as a comedian creative director through my endeavors running fully online media platform and the most watched web series, Anastoto, I have witnessed first hand transformation of the power of creativity in the country. Today marks a historic day as content creators' dreams come into reality. We've poured our hearts and soul into creating content with hopes that one day we will achieve and increase financial rewards. This is a day that our passions will translate into sustainable income. Furthermore, the creative industry has employed a lot of youths. Enabling this industry has a lot of benefits and contributes positively to the GDP also. Because we can create content that is consumed both locally and internationally. So enabling this industry is something that cannot be ignored at the moment. Mr. President, your presence here not only signifies the commitment of your government into enabling the industry, but also symbolizes that this country acknowledges that content creators can be rewarded and will be rewarded. As Meta introduces monetization opportunities that will revolutionize how content creators like me operate, I will urge all content creators to seize these opportunities and to be able to create meaningful and engaging content, because now we are moving also, and it's an additional to kufinya computer to a dollar, to wash a camera, tengeneza pesa. Last year, Mr. President, you mentioned that uh, I earn more than your salary. I think this year you'll overtake me, because you have a Facebook page. All you need to do is to monetize it. And also, you'll make some good money after tax. <laughs> so, uh, in, uh, just to, in conclusion, I think this is the day that we've been uh, looking forward to. It will be the beginning of something great, and we are thankful for this opportunity. We are content creators, and content is our business.